Hello, friends. Now, let's look into yet another business problem. And now let's solve marketing mix problem. A lot of marketing managers or chief marketing officers have this issue. They have the budget, but they are really not sure on how much money they need to spend on Google AdWords, how much money they need to spend on Facebook paid campaigns, and how much money should they spend on newspaper uh, advertisement, so on and so forth. So given this context, we'll try to solve this. And uh, we shall take example of Inno data text, right? And let, let's try to solve it. Inno data text is our uh, analytics company under the umbrella of which we do uh, projects for various customers in, in the space of advanced analytics. So here is the marketing mix problem, yeah? So Google AdWords, Facebook ads, newspaper ads. How much money should we spend on each of these avenues? Okay, and uh, here is some information. And for data optimization related problems, majority of the problems are deterministic, meaning the numbers that you're seeing here, for example, if I do a Google ad, uh, how many impressions would people see? Uh, or, or how many people would actually see that ad? It's, it's to the tune of, I think, um, 1.3 million, right? Uh, so this number is deterministic. Someone has already given you, and these are values that you have to trust. These are the numbers that you need to, first of all, get it from your business. Assuming that you have done your due diligence and these values are deterministic, they are uh, what they are, we can proceed further. Facebook ad, if you do, you would get um, roughly 600,000 impressions and newspaper ad would give you, say, 500,000 impressions. And to create any ad, you need some ad budget, right? And you also need planning budget because you need to plan for that particular ad. If it's a video, then you need to spend some time. Your video editor would uh, you know, come up with the video. Before that, your concept manager would come up with the concept for marketing, so on and so forth. For that, uh, it's going to cost you, say, $90,000. And for Facebook ads, your planning budget is $30,000 and ad budget is $150,000. For newspaper ad, uh, planning budget is 40,000 and ad budget is 100,000. So that's the proportion in which you intend to uh, spend. For each Google ad, that is what is going to be your ad budget and this is what is going to be your planning budget. For each Facebook ad, these are the costs and for each newspaper ad, these are the costs. But then no customer would say that I have complete uh, faith in you. I'll give you a complete uh, company, right? And I'll give you a blanket approval. How much ever money you want to spend, you can take it. Uh, no customer would say that, right? So there will always be constraints which will be levied. Given that there will always be some constraints which will be levied, let's proceed further and understand more. So... Before we get into this business problem, let's once again understand the characteristics of prescriptive analytics or data optimization. There are three key things. One is decision variables. You need to identify uh, the decision variables. Then you need to determine the objective function. And finally, you need to determine the constraints. So let's look at the decision variables. The decision variables here are these. Number of ads. How many Google ads should you run? How many Facebook ads should you run? And how many newspaper ads should you run? These are the decision variables. Next, you have your objective function. As part of objective function, Say you are interested to maximize the total impressions. 
the number of people who are going to see your ad. Say that is what is your objective function, not how many people are going to click on your ad, but it's all about number of impressions. So if this is your objective function, you need to mention that. And how do you get these total impressions or objective function? Number of Google ads multiplied by number of impressions per ad plus number of Facebook ads multiplied by number of impressions per Facebook ad plus number of newspaper ads multiplied by number of impressions per newspaper ad. When you do this, you get this. Okay, next. Budget spent. If you look at this, total budget spent. Even before that. So you know the decision variables and you have your objective function. Now constraints. Say your business has levied a constraint on you saying that I'm going to allocate $4 million for your ad budget, and I'm going to allocate a million dollars for your planning budget, right? Two constraints. And see, your management has also come up with a third constraint, which is maximum number of newspaper ads. I, I would say, okay, maximum Google ads, maximum number of Google ads. Okay, they should not be more than five. That's a constraint which your management has levied on you. So, given these constraints, we have to see what best we can do. So, total budget spent is total number of Google ads multiplied by the money that you spend plus number of Facebook ads multiplied by amount that you spend on ads plus number of newspaper ads multiplied by amount that you spend, that budget. When you do that sum product, okay, it should be less than or equal to the total available budget. Okay, and number of ads multiplied by the planning budget plus number of Facebook ads multiplied by this, plus number of newspaper ads multiplied with this, when you do this, the total sum product that you get should be less than or equal to a million dollars. Okay. So these are a few numbers. Given these numbers, again, we do the same thing. You go to data and um, you click on solver, then you get to see the solver. Proceed further with your analysis. <laughs> what do you want to maximize? The total impression. So click there. Okay, and then it is going to be this one. You, you want to maximize that, maximize the impressions. And what uh, are your decision variables? Your decision variables happen to be these three. Select those three. And then you have certain constraints. What is the first constraint? First, oops, sorry. First constraint is the total number of Google ads okay, should be less than or equal to five. So I'll just delete this. And what I'm not sure. Uh oh. Here I think something has gone wrong, so let me put that. Let me remove this and let me add this constraint. The number of Google ads should be less than or equal to five. Done. Then another constraint is related to these two. So I'll delete this. I'll also delete this and add the other two constraints as well. The constraint, one constraint here is the budget spent should be less than or equal to 4 million. And let me add another. So 
the budget spent should be less than or equal to a million dollars. And uh, these should be non-negative. Uh, Either you have one zero ads or more than zero. You cannot have negative ads, right? So that's why you put that. And you're saying, I want to use simplex linear programming problem to solve. Just click on OK. And there we go. The total impressions that one can achieve is 17 million. That's the best. Given the values and given the constraints and um, your optimum solution the best solution says that you need not run any google ads 20 facebook ads and 10 newspaper ads is what you need to run to be able to get the maximum number of impressions yeah so this is how you solve business problems Thank you so much for watching. And in the next uh, tutorial, we will talk about yet another business problem. And this journey would continue on and on until we complete all the transportation related problems. Thank you.